Good morning, coyotes. Welcome to Friday Flag. Today is Friday, March 18th, and I have Mr. Zanartu with me and Mr. Rivera with me. Thank you so much for joining us at our special Olympic send-off ceremony this morning. It was so much fun to have everyone together. The energy was great. Thank you all for being there with us. We have had such a fun week with our Coyote Obstacle Course uh, prep work and Spicy Grace has been on campus and Nicole Poli has been on campus. It has been so much fun. We look forward to next week. We have a couple of fun activities and then the big day is the 24th on Thursday. We're looking so forward to that. All right, let's begin with the flag salute. Please rise, right hand over your heart. Don't forget to remove your hats and hoodies. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, let's head over to Mr. Rivera for the fun that is birthday week. We did miss out on one week of birthdays last week. We apologize for that. Um, so we are going to make sure those kids get announced today. We want to make sure we recognize your birthday as well. So here we go with Mr. Rivera. So hello, boys and girls. Yeah, it does look like last week we skipped ahead a week and we wish the Coyotes having a birthday one week ahead. So all those students this week were already acknowledged. So we're going to go back and do what is called a happy belated birthday. And we're going to wish a belated birthday to the students from last week. We're going to start off with six-year-olds. Our six-year-olds are Riley, Reagan, Nixon, Ariana, Hudson, and Solaris. Our seven-year-olds, Michaela and Brilia. Jordan is eight. Connor also is eight. And Miles turns eight. We have one nine-year-old. That is Hunter. Happy birthday, Hunter. Our 10-year-olds, Hudson, Pepper, Kylie, and our 11-year-old, Zachary, Mia, and Jackson. Happy birthday to all of you. Again, that's a belated birthday wish, and I hope it was a great birthday for you. Wonderful. Sorry about that, boys and girls. We're human. Sometimes we make mistakes, but we're glad that we caught it. We could celebrate you this week. All right, let's take a look at our sharing segment. We have Macy and Taylor who have something fun for us. Hi, everybody. My name is Macy Jones. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to um, how to uh, make a scratch art photo. Also, my little sister Taylor is helping me. She is in Miss Calvia Murray's class in second grade. All right, let's get into it. Okay, everybody, this is how mine looks. Um, yeah, and then this is how my sister's looks. This is hers. Um, yeah, so basically, she is, uh, my top is gonna be black. I'm gonna either make it black or green. And remember, it could be any color, and hers is gonna be pink. All right, then let's paint it on. No going back now. Alright, rub it in. I'm going back now. <laughs> okay, mine's fully black and hers is pink. Um, <laughs> you made a bit of a mess! <laughs> okay, so now they're drying. It's gonna take about two hours, so let's wait. It's been like two hours. It works! Yay! That is really neat. Thanks for sharing, girls, and how fun. We could all do that at home with a little crayon and paint. I love it. Thank you. Next up, we have Mr. Zanartu for our mindset and behavior tip. Well, hi, Coyotes. I hope your week was a good one. Today, I want to share with you a fun story about a class project that ended up connecting two classrooms over 3,000 miles across the ocean. And it all started with a high-tech science project that got uh, that some kids on the East Coast did. Let's go ahead and quickly watch. 
Over a year ago, the 6th and 7th graders of Rye Junior High sent their class boat project and their hope sailing. It was very uh, exciting to just look every day because you never really knew where it was going to go. That's because this was no ordinary homemade boat. The Rye Riptides was high tech. GPS equipped with a cargo section packed like a time capsule. Oh, look at our but it wasn't all smooth sailing. Oh, it had quite an adventure. It went through hurricanes um, in August. It flipped the boat over. And after 462 days of rough waters, they thought the boat was lost. Yeah, I yeah. thought that it had sunk. Until one day, over 8,000 miles later, off the coast of Norway, a fellow middle schooler found their little boat that could. That brought me so much joy because our boat landed and it was a sixth grader who found it. He went to school and he could bring it in and show his friends. That's exactly what Carol Noonchik did, sharing the boat's treasures with his class. And then when you opened up the bag, what did you find? Money. <laughs> the face mask with all their names on. The letter. Oh yeah, the leaves. <laughs> Tell me what some of the classmates said. Oh my goodness. One dollar. <laughs> <laughs> a new kind of message in a bottle. Savannah Sellers, NBC News. That was one really cool message in the bottle. While they had some really fun things on that boat, like GPS tracker to a dollar, I don't know about you, but if you notice, but there are also a lot of really fun messages of hope, kindness, and friendship. The cool thing about this project is it connected kids who had never known each other ever before. Now, you don't have to necessarily build a high-tech boat to do this. All you have to do is really reach out to a classmate, a fellow student who you've never really played with before and share just a moment of kindness. I don't know about you all, but I'm inspired to reach out more to people who I don't hang out with as much, um, just so we can make more friends. So why don't you go out there, boys and girls, this last week before spring break, be kind and make a new friend. Who knows, it can open up a brand new chapter in your life. So it's something to think about. This is your school counselor, Mr. Zanartu. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Zanartu. What a great message. Friends make life so much more fun, don't they? That was a great video. All right, boys and girls, it is one of my favorite times of Friday Flag. We get to talk about how these heroes, these students are showing hero behavior everywhere they go, being helpful, encouraging, respectful, and outstanding. In kindergarten, in Mrs. Jaime's class, we have Colt and Zoe. In Mrs. Bider's class, we have Zaina and Enzo. And in Mrs. Gorton's class, we have Nathan. In first grade, in Mrs. Cron's class, Deanne. In Mrs. Stringer's class, Zoe. In Mr. Reagan's class, Dominic. In Mrs. Murray's class, Jaina. And in second grade, in Mrs. Calvio Murray's class, Layla. In Miss Garrity's class, Maddie. In Miss Isinger's class, Gregory. In Mrs. Manzella's class, Georgia. In Mrs. Casey's class, we have Addison and Shane. And in third grade, in Mrs. Dameron's class, we have Elmer. In Mrs. Hewittson's class, Hannah. In Mrs. Gonzalez's class, Miles. In Mrs. Hest's class, Sarai. Mrs. Tope's class, Brandon. Mrs. Levin's class, we have Sophia C. And in Mrs. Harley's class, we have Ben. In fourth grade, in Miss Ariano's class, Bentley. Mr. Pacey's class, Logan. Mrs. Vogel's class, Cassie B. And Keegan G. Mrs. Schroeder's class, Drake. And in Miss Trujillo's class, Jax. And in fifth grade, in Mrs. Greenstein's class, we have Easy. In Miss Getz's class, Kylie. Mrs. Hemrick's class, Bella. Mrs. Bryan's class, also Bella. Mrs. Mirandi's class, Tyler and Maddie R. And in Mrs. Beth P's class, we have Paisley. Keep up the great work, Coyotes. Be kind everywhere you go. We all could use some positivity and friends throughout the day, so make sure if you see someone who needs a friend, that could be you. All right, boys and girls, enjoy your weekend. Make it a great day. We'll see you on Monday.